Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm Patrick Chippendale. And I'm Emmy Howe. Welcome back to Bobcat TV. Today we have some sports updates. As well as this weekend's weather. Stay tuned for these stories and more. Bobcat, Bobcat TV, TV starts, starts now. now. Beginning Monday morning, March 8th, BNHS students previously assigned to ride bus 121 will begin riding bus 136. And now here is Drake with some sports update. Thanks guys. Yesterday, softball and baseball competed in double headers. Softball played Burke Burnett and El Monterey, while baseball played Allen and Denton Ryan. JV Boys and Girls Golf had a tournament at the Champion Circle Golf Club and results will be posted soon. Today, Varsity Tennis plays at Wichita Falls High School in the Coyote Classic. Good luck to all of our tennis players. Also today, Boys and Girls Varsity Golf compete in tournaments. Boys play at the Tangle Ridge Golf Club while the girls are at Harbor Lakes Golf Club. Baseball and softball both have double headers. Baseball plays at Allen High School against San Angelo Central and then they play Flower Mound Marcus. Softball plays Hebron and Allen. Wrapping up the night, both boys and girls soccer play Keller. Boys play at Keller while girls play at home. We also have sports for the weekend. To start, track and field have a league meet at Byron. Then, boys and girls golf continue their tournament from today. Then, boys and girls varsity wrestling go to Trinity and go up against Trinity, Chisholm Trail, and Central. At 12.45, baseball plays McKinney Boyd. And then, wrapping up the weekend, softball has a doubleheader against McKinney Boyd and Flower Mound. That's all I have. Back to y'all. Thank you, Jake. The Byron Nelson Environmental Club will be meeting after school today from 4 to 7 to paint a mural in the new courtyard. Feel free to show up if you're interested. Bobcats, don't forget that spring break starts off next week with a half day on Friday. Now here's Tyler with the weather. Good morning, Byron Nelson. My name is Tyler Nowak, and I'm coming to you today with the next three days predicted weather forecast. For the next three days, expect the sun to stay there, with some clouds coming in for Friday. Friday will be having a high of 67 and a low of 44. Saturday with a high of 66 and a low of 45. And Sunday with a high of 68 and a low of 50. That's all for the weather today. Have a great day, Bobcats. This past Tuesday, Governor Abbott lifted the mask mandate in the state of Texas. However, due to health concerns, Dr. Warren has decided that NISD will still continue to, work to follow the previous COVID protocols to the end of this school year. So make sure you're still wearing your mask on campus. If you need a verification of enrollment to get your driver's permit or license, stop by your AP's office today. Remote learners, please email your AP secretary to request your VOE. Here's Cameron with the weekly rundown. Good morning, Bobcats. I'm your host, Cameron, and welcome to this edition of Weekly Rundowns. Now, let's get started. Starting off this week, Snoop Dogg rage quits 15 minutes into live streaming Madden on Twitch, leaving the stream on for several hours after. Hasbro dropped the Mr. Potato Head brand, changing it to Potato Head to change with the current times. Six Dr. Seuss books w won't be published anymore because they portray racist and insensitive images. In Devon, England, a town was evacuated as an old World War II bomb was discovered, leading to a controlled explosion by police. Eighty alligator heads were seized by in a police raid on a house in Birmingham. Pedro Pascal and Bell and Bella Ramsey are cast in HBO's The Last of Us series. The Boy Season 3 set photos were leaked. A fisherman killed a massive 900 pound tiger shark off the coast of Sydney. Amber Heard was fired from Aquaman 2. WandaVision Episode 9 releases on Disney Plus today. Here's a picture of my new puppy Rosie. That's all for this week, Bobcats. See you next time. And now here's Daniel with some information on a local band. 
When you think of a band, often you think of marching suits, trumpets, and trombones. But recently, I spent an evening with a band who was far cry from that in the best way possible. This band has been playing together for about a month, and it consists of four members. Autumn, who is the drummer, Joey, who is the bassist, Kate, who is the guitarist, and Cece, who is the vocalist. They draw their inspiration from 1980s rock punk bands like Husker Du and Sonic Youth, and movies like Scott Program. This results in a garage punk band whose music sounds like it's straight out of a movie. If you're interested in listening to more, they'll be hosting a free online concert on March 20th called Soft Shop. There should be more information on the screen right now. Thank you again to the members of this band for letting me sit into one of their sessions and back to you guys at the studio. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching this edition of Bobcat TV. See you next time. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Bobcat. Bobcat.